Hello everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resins. Okay, so today we are going to do the flower pot turtle mold. I have not done this one yet. It's a chunky monkey mold. But it's a what in the world is that? Cardboard? Yeah. It's a flower pot turtle. And I found him on Tilu. Very soft mold. Very soft mold. So he's got little eyes. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to do nothing to it, like put anything in his eyes. Okay. So I've mixed up my four hour demold resin. Um. Ooh, it's a lot of like overkill in here yes it is like mold I'm about to cut my glove off like the mold leftover yeah like I said I haven't used this so I haven't even noticed that it's a lot of leftover mold here and I'm pretty sure they didn't that don't stay on here Pretty sure. This is going to get stuck in the resin anyway, most likely. Okay, let me see here. This little part, if I'd have known this, I would have did this beforehand, but I did not notice this because I hadn't taken him out. Ooh. Try not to chop my finger off. not too bad. I think it is supposed to come out. I would think so. Hopefully I do not have any that fell down in the mold. Hopefully. I don't know what that is. It's, what is that? Piece of cardboard piece? I guess so little piece of brown cardboard or something okay so okay what I'm gonna use is these I found these and I don't even remember where I brought them but they look interesting so I figured I would use these I think I'm gonna use the green and I'm not sure like I said I have not used these I don't even there's only two a piece I don't even remember where I got these from and they're such little bottles. I, oh, they're flakes. Oh, Lord, they're flakes. <laughs> they're flakes. I did not know that. They are chameleon flakes. Oh, boy. This is going to be great. Okay, so I was going to try to get this in his head. Sure ain't that many of them. I was just going to... Hopefully, I have enough. I was going to try to get this in his head and stuff. I don't even think I'm going to have enough because there's literally nothing in this bottle. I don't know if they came as a sample or what. But, oh my goodness. Yeah, there is. Oh, well, maybe if they would, would fly around everywhere, maybe I could get them in the turtle's head. Oh, yeah, I got more on the outside than I do on the inside, I believe. I'm going to just try my best to get this in here. It is literally flying everywhere. Try my best to get it in here. Yeah, these must have came in as like a sample try me or something. Because I sure don't remember buying those. Well, I guess we're trying them now. Wherever I got them from. Whoever sent them to me. I sure don't remember. It, it's got to be a sample trial because there sure ain't nothing in them. And that's almost gone. Literally. Okay. Alright, I poked him out a little bit. I don't know how well this is going to take. But we just going to hope for the best. I'm going to just try to get much of this as I can on here. And I'll go over it with the other ones. 
I'm gonna have to open up the other one already because this one is gone wow that wasn't a lot okay was that this one yeah because I wanted to use the green one on the shell hopefully I Ooh, and this one looks like it's already been open I didn't open it alrighty then yep 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 like I said I don't need that I don't think I brought these these must have been something with some samples or something some try me samples Cause this sure is not enough in here to do anything hardly with. I'm gonna just uh, like I said, I think the turtle's got more on the outside than it does the inside of it. Goodness. Those flakes really do fly. They really do. But that's okay. We're gonna work our way through here one way or another. And make it work. Just gonna use all this on him. I got, uh, hopefully I got enough for this foot. Hopefully I can get that green in here. Oh Lord. Sure ain't much in there. Well. I'm scooping over here, I'm scooping. Alright, so maybe I'll just dump this one in. Oh, wait a minute. Am I doing it upside down? I think I am. I think I'm going to just dump him. Maybe that way the flakes won't go flying too bad. Wow, there's literally no flakes in there. Wow. Okay, I don't know where those came from, but I, don't, I know I ain't brought them. I don't even I, I don't even have enough to fit <laughs> I don't have enough to do that turtle. Well that's a bummer. Alright, let's try to see there is literally look at this. Nothing in here. Literally nothing. And these have not been opened. Believe me, I have not used them. Wow. Like I said, they had to be some as a sample with something I ordered, and I just don't remember. And I just do not remember. They had to have been something with a sample. Okay. Well, Lord, it is what it is. That's a hot mess. Look at this. No color. Wow. Wow. Like I said, it must have been a sample. About all I got from it. Mm. Throw these things away. Like I said, I don't even know where I got those things from. Okay. Plan B. I go. Oh gosh, what do I want to do? I can either leave this like this and just throw some mica powder in here and finish coloring the rest. Oh, this came from that set that I told y'all about the other day. Oh, I can't get it open. I've used some of these before. They're really pretty. But the, the lid just always goes down in there. Okay, is this green or... Um, it's like a blue. I really didn't want a blue. I wanted a, a green. Yeah, this is the one I think I used the other day. You know what? I think I'm going to go with this one. You know what? Actually, I'm going to just sprinkle a little him around. We're going to two-tone whatever we can on. Just two-tone. Oh, wait a minute. That's that one. 
yeah all right now i'm gonna just finish it off with this one i'm gonna even put some in the head to cover up the gaps because it wasn't even enough for the head in here yeah, i'm just going to get him all mica powdered down so this is like a shimmery mica powder or a color shifting mica powder I think all my green went in that one spot there. But you know what? Let me do them last because my finger's going to be on that pressing on it. So let me do that part last there. Yeah, I'm not sure what Mr. Turtle going to look like. I'm hoping he is nice. I don't remember seeing anyone do this one before. Not that I can recollect. I didn't say and they didn't, but not that I can remember. Hopefully he'll turn out awesome. And I've made up my resin. I put it through the debubbler just a little bit, but not much because I'm going to be putting some black mica powder in here to, so I can get these colors to pop as much as I can. And this, he's got ridges all in it. So you really got to get down in these ridges he has got ridges so yeah he has got ridges just want to make sure I get all his ridges I'm gonna have to go over these sides again because I keep touching them so I'll do that last really hoping that I have this head good because it is very hard wait a minute does he have a tail oh no his little tail's right there okay his little tail's kind of I mean his head is kind of hard to see if I've got everything in here so I'm hoping for the best I don't want to pop it out and pop loose any mica powder or rub up against it because that wouldn't be helping the cause Oop. I'm losing mica powder everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna call that a day on his little. Oop, let me pop it back in there and try to get his. Try not to scrape a side or anything here. Just try to get his head the best I can. Try. Alright, now I'm gonna work down in the shell here where all these little creases are, and then should be about done. Because he's got creases. Yes, he does. And I don't want to get any of them not covered. That might be good. Don't want to not cover any. Okay. Make sure I double check all these flaps up under here and try to get them now. Then I'll just go back and get the, the little edges. So I'm going to go on and just try to get these flaps up on here make sure they're all nice and colored up all purdy see it looks like it's not that much right in there yeah it's a little groove in there there we go now that looks better okay try to clean up some of the mica powder and i will try to dust him out the best i can here but hopefully I won't mess up anything. Okay, let me get his toesies. And then, like I said, I've already got my resin made up. So all I have to do is stir in the um, black mica powder. Oop, I'm going to have to touch you one more time because I need to get that. Okay, I have to redo that one right there. How does it look like it's nothing right in there? And it might not be. Alright, make sure I get... Okay, let me get this because I don't touched it now. Alright, I think I'm almost done. I'll get this part right here, his little tail tail. Okay, I think that is good double check that where I just stuck my finger on it all right I think I am good 
All right, let's see what comes out. Not a lot. Nope, not a lot. Oh Lord, that mole's heavy. My arm hurts. I got my muscle arm test yet again. So I made up 12 ounces. But I'm going to just go on and put 8 in here and mix this up. And if he takes, and like I said, I put it through the debubbler or the chamber pot. Um, just a little bit there. All the bubbles aren't gone, but mainly some of them are gone. So that's fine with me. Okay, let me see here. I don't want to put an arm and a leg in here. Alrighty. No use putting an arm and a leg in here. Because this, it, it, I've learned that this goes a long way. You don't need a lot. And I have been putting super lots in there. But you really don't need it. So I think I've been wasting my black mica powder. Yeah. Should have poured it in a larger cup. These are only the eight ounce cups. I had had it in a sixteen ounce cup to mix it. But I just didn't want to do all black. Well, I guess I could have. I got a feeling it's gonna hold more than eight ounces of resin in there. Yep. Just got a feeling he's going to hold more than eight ounces. We're about to find out. Make sure I scrape the sides and the bottom good. Try to break up all the mica powder. Ooh, I made a little mess there. Alrighty, here goes it all. <clears throat> okay, let me make sure the mold is thing. Feel like I'm pouring chocolate into a turtle mold. Chocolate turtle. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna sit this down out of the way for a minute. I, I don't want no bubbles in the head here, so I'm gonna try to squeeze him while I'm pouring the rest of this so I can kind of squeeze those bubbles on out of there because it's filled up in the head, yeah. Yep, that's the that's eight ounces right there. But I hope I ain't removing the mica powder by doing this. That's eight right there. And he still needs some more, so I'm gonna just go on and put it all in here. Hopefully I don't have to make up no more because this was twelve ounces. You know how I hate making up extra resin. Alrighty. All right. These things are so awesome for scraping every drop out of your cup. I hate to leave resin. Sometimes, most of the time, you leave enough resin in there to do a, a small project when you don't scrape it well. And that really is true. You don't even realize it. Look at all that resin that just came off the side. Enough to fill a pendant. Basically. Enough to fill a pendant. If I have enough for a pendant when I run over, I will be putting some in. Okay, let me get a little ooh, bit of black in there. Get him stirred up, and that was what I say. 
Oh God! Oh, I made twelve ounces. Yeah, that's right. I'm losing my mind there. I'm losing my train of thought. And that was eight. So we got four left. Hopefully that'll fill it up because it looks like it's about to cover to the feet. So, so that was eight. Maybe we'll see how much this is going to take here. See how much I have left over, and I know how much he, he's going to hold. All right, let me see. Don't want that head messed up there. Okay, please, if you, there's any bubbles in there, come on out. I don't have to worry about the tail, because the tail's literally right there. Alright, he's getting full. Why is he on level? He is on level. Why? Ooh, he's heavy. His little back side's heavy. Now I see where I missed some of the things at. Right there. Well, I guess you could call he takes 12 ounces. Because it took every drop. Come on. The only thing is it won't stand up. Okay, now he's about to overflow because, yeah, it's a little uneven. I can already tell that. So, I'm going to have to grab popsicles to the rescue. Again, it'd be the little flappy things on the end here. Some of them don't be that good at supporting the weight of these molds. But the inside be good, but it be these flappy parts. Some of them are crooked. Some of them, shoot, like this is just like too high. Okay, I think I'm going to, oop, like, we're going to need another one up under here. Because it's not going to the back. And my table is level. It's the mold that's not level. Oh, shoot, Nanny. He is running over. And I didn't even see you, buddy. You were just a flew the coop on me. Yes, you did. Boy, I tell you, I'm trying not to make a mess there, homie. Come on, now. Get with the program. There we go. And now you want to stay. Alright, well, I'm going to call this day. I can't, I'm not going to be able to, I already see, I'm not going to be able to get it even with his toes here. Now that one's coming up too much. This one's sinking. It's a nice mold, but, okay, let me take one of these off over here and see how we do. I'll just put one, but I know I need two on this side. Okay, that might be a wee bit better there. Come here, you little bubble. Yeah, that might that might actually be pretty good there. Yeah, now see it's all jiggly and these do not support very well. They really don't. They really do not support that well. They should have just been a little bit thicker the um things now I wish that would stick up like that cause see it's like that's pushing in alright we're gonna get, get creative hopefully but see I just hate the tape don't like to stick to this that's the thing it doesn't like to stick to the molds And I can understand, but if I could just tape that there and hold it up, but see, it, it ain't going to want to do that. Mm 
Mm. I'm gonna have to find me some tape that sticks to silicone. Anyone knows of tape that will stick to silicone? Let me know. It could be clear tape. Um, I don't know what I'd do with my clear tape. I had a roll over here, now it's missing. Dang it. Just wish I could pull this out like this a little bit because that just straightens everything out then. Oh well. You know what? We're going to leave it alone. I'm going to sit here and pop some bubbles. And I'm going to just leave it alone. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to just let it sit. Oops. I'm going to find me some supports. Have to make custom supports. Maybe popsicle supports. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Popsicle support. Oh, Lord. Popsicle supports. Probably just cut up a various of sizes. Oops. And that way, uh, there you go. Perfect. And just stick up under the little feet so he don't go flying off the coop there. He's a little too big. Take off that sharp edge with a rounded edge. And just plop him up just like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to just save those in a pile of prop up sticks. Perfect. Yeah, okay, now we're looking good. Now it's not going to tip over the edges. Okay, ew. Uh, I think I shouldn't have took my gloves off. I could probably get a tad bit more. Let me get another one. I feel like putting gloves back on. Ugh. Can't pick up the resin. Let me get... Uh, oh. Let me try to scoop out just so that hopefully I don't mess up nothing and everything goes rogue over here. There's just a wee bit more in here. Yeah, I think he's going over. He's going over. He's gone. Yes, he is. See, it's going to caving in. It's caving in right there. Yes, it is. It's caving in. And I can't support that in. Okay. Let me leave things be. Take a little bit out. Because I done got it. See, this is why I should leave things alone. And I don't. Because, oh, Jesus. Take the wheel. Now, every time the thing, thing, oh, well, we'll just have a tad bit of cleanup on him. But it, he's looking good. Okay. I'm walking away. I'm not putting no more in him. Nope. He will be fine. Mm-hmm. He, oh, I got, why did I take the clothes off? I need to wipe these down. Oh, I wasn't thinking. All right, I am going to clean up my utensils here. And apparently put on another set of gloves. Uh, let me get the wipe out. Found these big elephant wipes from Home Depot. They're awesome. I think they were like twelve ninety nine. You get a hundred, but it's like I swear this is like three to four baby wipes in one, and they clean really well. Really, really, really good. They clean really good. So, yeah. Actually, I need to clean that cup out, too. Yeah. Usually, one white cleans up everything. Alright, so I'm going to leave the turtle alone, clean up the rest of my hot mess, and call it a day. Alright, see you for unmolding. Hello everyone, welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Our turtle is ready. And yes, it's like 
four o'clock in the morning. I've got my chai tea in my Mario mug. So good. It is time to unload. Let's see how he turned out with his little overage on his footsies. I did not put this in a heat mat or anything. Yes, see, he's got some overage, but look, it just clinging off of there. So, but at least it's a nice soft mold to where you can unmold it. Well, except for that overage there. Yeah, a little spillage. Oops. See, some of it breaks off, some of it never does. Oops. Thin. A little sharp right in here, but I guess I have to do a little stuff on him. Alrighty, seems like so far very easy to demold. Very easy to demold. Probably until we get to this the head part. Okay. Oh no. No. Oh, maybe a little head. This is a little wrinkles. Oh, he turned out good. Ooh, let me fix the head. Pop him back in. Oh, that is so cute. And this isn't a turtle. He looks like a tortoise. Yeah, so he, he's not a turtle. He's a tortoise. He's a land tortoise. Oof, with a lot of overage. Thin overage, but still overage. That is so cute, that little planter. Now if you want to put a live succulent in here, I guess I might have to drill, I'll just drill a small hole for drainage. Just to be on the safe side. Because you don't want your plant standing in water. A little succulent put in there. Unless you want to put a fake one in there. But actually the cacti are about the easiest things you can grow. Because they require very little water. I think that's some of that um, stuck. The overage from like the um that little flap there it's kind of sharp okay him up and go around but oh my goodness he turned out so good like I said I don't even know where I got those little four little ones but it sure didn't go far so they had to have been thrown in samples from somewhere because they sure didn't go far Clean up his little messes here. Alrighty. You're looking better already. Trying to see if I don't miss anything because he's a little anti turtle here. Or, I mean, oop, I forgot to turn all on my light. You can see better. He's nice and shiny. And he does color change. Okay, let me get back to this. I don't know if y'all want to see me do this or not, but I'm going to try to hurry up and do this. Oops. 
I'm giving him a nail trim. Look at his little beak. And his eyes. See how his eyes are sunken like in, not pulled out? Yeah. It's a little bit a little hard to get something in there because it's pushed into the mold, not pushing out of the mold. All this overage, which I knew it was coming over them little flaps. Ooh, this is a little hard to get to here with these. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, he got a good little bit of overage right there. I think that's from that flap thing. Not going all the way. And I, I don't know if I said, I did not put this on a heat mat because I did not want it to get too hot. Cause even though it's got this hole in here, I just didn't want it to flash cure. So yeah, just to be on the safe side. So some things will flash cure on you. It's kind of hard to get in here with these. Cause his little feet in the way. Little footsies are in the way. Alrighty. I think that looks about good there. Yeah, I think that's good. But yeah, this is a gorgeous mold. I like this. I really, really like this. Like I said, if you want a live plant in there, I would just take a little little drill bit, drill a small hole in there just for some drainage. Just in case. Oh goodness. Still half asleep, y'all. But he ooh. And I made a mess with the overage. But yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, I just like the little head. It's chunky. I like the little head. They make a nice planter. I could, you could also use the faux succulents. Or even fake plants to put in there. Yep, that would look so cute. But he turned out really good. Better than I expected because I didn't know what to expect from this. But it's very, I don't i don't know if the camera's picking up, but it is color changing somewhat. And I use, it was barely any, and then I use the, um, I'll put the link on it. I use one of these, and these came from Timu. Um, it's, what is it? Does it even sell? Oh, eight, oh, losing things. 18 piece set, um, it's the color changing, like mica powders. Yeah. But I got these from, you know, I do know where I got these from. So yeah, but these work really nice. I've been using them on the starfish that I've been doing as well. Oops, let me pull this one since he's right by me. I've been using them on these and just, you know what, well, this one's got glitter in it. This was the leftover stuff from the, the ugly octopus event. Yeah, so this was what I had left over from the second pour. And I just pulled it in there. I think I used... On this one, I remember it was, a, it was a lighter color. I know that. I wanted to try something a little different. It was this one. Like the gold green. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's not as bright probably because it's not black. But it's still dark blue chunky glitter in there. But I used this one. I think this is the same one I might have used on this one actually. To 
to finish filling it. Yeah, but they are color shifting, and they're, they work really good. There's a good little amount in the, the bottles as well, but I'll put the link to where I found these. Oh, um, there's even like a goldy yellow, mustard yellow, when I'm, I have not tried this one. I don't know what color it's going to give off, but it's mustard yellow from the looks of it. But yeah, sometimes you find pretty good products, sometimes you don't. Uh, it's going to be a nightmare trying to clean this outside. It probably won't even come clean. I think all the powder stuck to the outside that I was trying to get on the inside of it. Came out good though. It's just these leave a lot of sharp edges because it's it's a really soft mold. I mean really soft so it's a little over it just there because it does this. And this is soft. They need, they need to make these hard for them to stand up better. I mean, this is nice and thick right here. But these, look at this. This is what usually fails and why you have a unlevel mold even when you know you have a level table. It's these flat. So that's why I was putting popsicle sticks up under them because they, they're just so soft they don't hold that weight and he's a good weight because all the weight's right in here and in here there's probably more silicone in this ball than there is the whole outside <laughs> but it still held up good i had to babysit it for a minute because it started going over on the um the feet but he's so pretty he really is he's a good detailed bumpy tortoise and I like that I don't have to worry about bubbles on the tail actually I don't have one bubble in this whole turtle I surely don't not in the head or anything oh look he's got good I mean see the details that's what I mean he's got nice nostrils literal nostrils literal nostrils see look nostrils that actually are indentated nostrils. It was a little beak. And he's got indentated eyes. I don't even think I'm going to color his eyes because unless you can find a nice jewel to go in there that's really small. Hopefully y'all can see his eyeballs how indentated it is but very very nice nice color change from everything I love the bumps but yeah he's a land tortoise and he's a good size let's see do I have my tape measure in here let's see from head he is well I guess I can lay it up under him too because right now it's looking like seven mm. uh, I would say he's about six and a half long wise uh, width wise from foot to foot he is four and a half, four and, yeah, you can as well say four and a half, about four and three eighths, and, let's see, tall wise, let me get to, because the zero don't start to there, he's about two and a quarter, he's about two and a quarter tall, so nice little tortoise, if you don't have him in your collection, try to find him. Because this is a nice mold. Even if you don't use it for a planner. Use it for paper clips. Something on your desk. Sewing. Put a faux plant in there. You can find faux plants all over the place. Especially beautiful cactuses that you ain't got to water. Pop him right in there. Put some stone in there. Pop a little cactus right there. 
Use it for a jewelry tree. Put your jewelry in. Buy five the bed. Bam. You can find many uses for something that has a hole in it. 